Hello everybody! Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a very special video. This is Jack. Hello. Say, oh, you just said hello. I was gonna say, say <laughs> I, hello. You know, it's, I said it, I, I preempt everything because I'm a ventriloquist, so I'm like mm -hmm. always thinking double, you know. The whole video. I, gave I had away. no idea by the title or the thumbnail. Today, I'm learning how to be a ventriloquist. If you've been on TikTok, which none of you have been on TikTok, did you know that this year, apparently, this might be wrong, that TikTok was used more than Google? This year? I did hear that. Yes, that that is crazy. Very weird. Like I see somebody with like 10 million likes on a single video and I'm like, you're it's I crazy. Don't, I don't understand. Like you're just doing like a lip sync, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's, what I was showing my girlfriend earlier was you doing the delayed speech mm -hmm. thing, which like how often do you fuck with people in public with that? Um, not as much anymore, just because I'm like a very like, uh, sh like shy guy. And I think mm -hmm. when I first started doing it, it was just because of like a high demand from my audience. Will so, you, for the people who aren't familiar, will you do a little bit of delayed speaking? Yes, yes. No them? voiceover. This is, this is it. Hi. Hello. How's it going? Good to see ya. <laughs> <laughs> so my name's Jack. It's so interesting. Okay, so before we get into it, into it, let's talk about how you got into ventriloquism and what your first experience was actually trying it out and everything yeah. like that. Yeah, I was, um, I believe, 11 or 12 years old when I first discovered ventriloquism. I was watching um, an episode of Goosebumps and it had the ventriloquist dummy Slappy in it. And I saw that the, was his name, yeah, Slappy. Slappy. And I was watching it with a buddy who was terrified of it. And instead of me being afraid, I just like looked at it and I was just like, I want one. And so I went home that night and I asked my dad, I was like, dad, do you have a ventriloquist dummy? And he just looked at me and he was just like, Yes. <laughs> and he actually had Wait, one. really? Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. so funny. Yeah. Why and, did he have one? Uh, it was just from his childhood that he like kept away in the mm. garage, so he just like kept it for all these years. And it was just yeah. this old ventriloquist dummy. And I just started practicing with it, and that's kind of how I got into it, was just scaring my brother, mm -hmm. um, and just scaring people around the house with this dummy, because I thought it was just a funny thing to do. Yeah. And, uh, eventually, and this is when it starts to get into like this strange territory, I would say, is because eventually I found out when I was probably like... 13 about mm -hmm. a ventriloquist convention where there's about 500 ventriloquists that all gather in one spot and I always say to people like if you have a fear of dolls like don't go I, there bro. I don't like dolls. Yes exactly you, <laughs> you would hate it because it's just like a bunch of just like lifeless uh, mm -hmm. kind of mannequins everywhere and so I started going to that convention consistently every year for about six or seven years straight and that's really how I started getting into it was just yeah. seeing other ventriloquists do it and a lot of people are not good at it. Yeah. It's just more of like a hobby. And mm -hmm. I would say only like about 1% of ventriloquists actually pursue it as a career. And mm -hmm. I maybe know only like two or three other people that do this. I think I can only name one ventriloquist. <laughs> and I think you probably know who I am about to say, who is Jeff Dunham. Yes, of course. Yes. Yeah. The, the granddaddy of ventriloquism. <laughs> the granddaddy yes. of ventriloquism. Yeah. Well, I, I would say actually the granddaddy granddaddy is a, a guy named Edgar Bergen, who I believe, I've yes. heard that name before. Yeah. Yeah. He was probably the most uh, famous ventriloquist in the 50s and 60s, I believe. And he had a, a dummy named Charlie McCarthy. Mm -hmm. And he actually did a radio show where people thought that the dummy was real because it was on the radio. And then they'd yeah. see him in person and they'd be like, oh shit, that's. That's a, just a puppet. I thought yeah. this was a real thing, you know? And oh, I understand what you're saying. That's so interesting. Yeah. That seems like it would kind of defeat the purpose to do <laughs> exactly. Exactly. on yeah. a radio Exactly, show. I know. It's like, yeah, you can't even see it, you know? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's honestly how I got started. And, uh, you know, I just started posting TikToks last year mm -hmm. and just doing it consistently, doing kind of... And you hit a million recently. Yes, just hit a million. Um, it's a big, definitely a big milestone. I did not think I would hit that this quickly, for yeah. sure. Well, you brought some gifts today. Yes, yes, I brought... Well, first, do you want me to teach you how like to do ventriloquism, or do you want me to get the puppets out? What do you think is the better? What I think is 
I teach you some things, okay. and then I get a puppet out, and then I give you a puppet to, to work okay. with. You know Sweet. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, let's yeah, see that. yeah, okay. So the basics of ventriloquism is all about using your tongue. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you use your tongue for every syllable. You don't really use your lips for that many letters. Mm -hmm. The main letters that you use your lips for are P, B, and M. Right, because you have to touch your lips together, okay, especially, yeah. especially B, like a B, like that's probably yeah. the hardest letter. So you want to like replace that letter or just not use it. Okay, that's what I do. Is I try to stay away from P's and B's, really. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because I've seen a lot of your like really popular ones are mm -hmm. people giving you like tongue twisters specifically with. And yeah, piece. exactly. And then a lot of people like call me out in the comments. They're like, you, you probably use this like as practice every morning. And I'm like, yes, like that's yeah. literally what I do every morning. That's probably why I'm good at it. Um, why would they call you out? Yeah. You probably do this all the time. Yeah. So everything you say is with your tongue and you mm -hmm. put it on the roof of your mouth. And what I'd say for a beginner is you put your teeth together like this, right? Okay. So you're using your tongue and you're putting your teeth together like teeth that. Teeth together like this. Yes, exactly. Okay. And then you slowly put your lips together. And usually for a beginner, what I'd say is you want to lead your teeth together, mm -hmm. you know, because it really helps with lip control. So you're saying like everything like this, you know. Everything like this. It, it might not sound natural at first. Like I, I feel like I sound better when I do a character's voice mm -hmm. than my own voice. Yeah. You know, so, you know, you can practice that and be like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, and then L, P, and it, you know, yeah. just like relax and stuff. I, Wait, so how do you make the P noise without the lips? With P, you, what you want to do is you want to replace that with a uh, letter T, and you're thinking P, but yeah. you're saying T, so it's, it's confusing. So you're like, P, and sometimes I roll my tongue. You know, where basketball is like basket doll. Basket ball. You know, I'm thinking B. Uh, <laughs> Wait, so you replace B with T also? B is with D. D. Yes. Okay, basket doll. That no, no, that, that, like no, that, I, I'm think that, B really hard. Basket doll. Basket doll. Basket doll. Basket doll. Basket doll. It's sounding better. But. Nope, that's B. But. Da, 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 da. <laughs> it's really hard. Yeah, it's, it's also a... like when I'm doing it, I feel like my lips are slowly just like closing, <laughs> so you can barely hear me. Yeah, uh, no, no, it's it's it takes a lot of practice. I would say like to even be able to do that, maybe I like, can start something different, like saying you know, the word like a name like Sally. That you don't have to really use Sally. Yes, yeah, see exactly. Sally. Okay. You're, you see, you didn't move your lips. Didn't there. move my lips L at all. Lips is a hard word. That's lit. one of the hardest words for me. Lit. Lit. It sounds like lits. Yeah. Lit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think you got the basics of, yeah. of ventriloquism. There you it are, is. You're already a it's pro. all I need. Yeah, he's a pro. Yeah, man. Um, I can I can give you a puppet to, yeah. to use. Um, Let's do it. Yeah. I don't really have a voice for this guy, but his name's Ooh. Buzz. Whoa. And uh, yeah, he's kind of a, uh, he's made out of latex. Beep. How many puppets do you have? Um, I've got a couple. Yeah, and you just you just want to put your hand like right in here. You know, that's kind of right. the awkward part. Yeah. And uh, there, there you go. Him. Wow. Yeah, so you, you, you can try <laughs> saying uh, Sally with him. See it. Sally. <laughs> that's good. Sally. Hey. Sally. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It, it like becomes kind of creepy yeah. <laughs> where like I forgot for a moment that it was my hand. Yes, exactly. Has that ever happened to you where you're like, I'm assuming that when you do your shows that you have like a plan to act. 100%. Yeah. So when you're rehearsing that, do you ever just kind of like forget and just like kind of talk to the puppet? Not in a creepy way, but you're just like, oh, you yeah, know, yeah. You just kind of forget that it's a character. Sometimes, and... sometimes those are like the best moments is when I'm just going off randomly like off the script and I'm just talking to the puppet you it's know it's the eyes and so yeah when, when you have him you can kind of like move him around like this especially the neck you want to yeah. be like you want to be like that yeah exactly like how birds have like uh, sharp movements that's yes yeah, yeah. Is, that's kind of how I think of a puppet like how would this thing <laughs> act yeah. yeah so I'll get out the one I use the most this guy's name's Foster he's like a, a dirty castaway from what was Sesame what Street. was your first puppet that one that my dad gave me. Mm. So that was that was the first puppet that I really used. And then the, actually the second one that I used a lot was this guy. But I, you know, how I, old is this guy? Probably like ten years old, I would say. Yeah. So he kind of held up well. 
Hello. <laughs> He's so depressed in the eyes. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here, you could tell by the look on my face. <sighs> what I'm very excited for is the editors now editing this video as if the puppets are another person in the video. Yeah. So you'll yeah. get your own comedic zooms. Oh, also. I love that. Oh, look at this, just the gang hanging here, huh? The, the gang's all here. Yeah, man. The gang's all here. Put this on a postcard. <laughs> nice. That's right, right on a postcard. Yeah, right on a toast card. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just giving you like the hardest words to say. Man, I love that toast card. Toast Makes me card. hungry. Once you have the puppet in your hand, because I feel like this is so foreign to me mm -hmm. that I just like, I don't even really know how to coexist with you. You know, mm -hmm. you, you gotta be isolated, you gotta have no friends, you know, mm -hmm. you gotta you gotta spend a lot of time just uh, thinking to yourself, man, why am I doing this? Called an alarm? Yeah. You're called an alarm. <laughs> hey, what's your name, buddy? Oh, I'll give him a really good British accent, a really good British accent. Yeah. Oi! What are you doing in here, all right? What's your name? <laughs> Chris! <laughs> Chris is my name. I'm moving my lips a no, lot. No, it's okay, it's okay. It's, it, it's uh, you know, I, I'm moving my, uh, that has a P in it, I'm not gonna say that. Lips. Yeah, yeah that's mm. right. <laughs> yeah, is that a, like a good ventriloquism trick to like fall back on yourself to sort of make it a meta joke about it? Oh yeah, for, for sure. Yeah. If you want, I can show you the more interesting yeah. ventriloquist dummy. I can put Foster back. Yeah, back in the bag. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's back in the... Ah, oh, it's a B. Say it. Bag. <laughs> I'm gonna put you in the egg. Big. I'm not moving this at all. It's just me sitting here <laughs> <Just> talking. <laughs> It's a, a lot of multitasking, yeah. Oh, multitasking, yeah. That was good. That was very yeah. good. Yeah. It? I saw a TikTok, which this was the first thing that I thought of when I was like, I should see if I can do a video with a ventriloquist. Mm -hmm. I saw a TikTok of this girl. It was really creepy, but also funny, mm -hmm. where she just went, Daddy, Daddy, I'm stuck in the closet! Yeah. That, that, that was actually, the, that, yeah, that you're actually really good video. at that. Well, Foster, it's great eating you, mate. Uh, is, Ain't you so up for coming out here? Yeah. Sign off, yeah. Sign off, yeah. Hey, don't make uh, money, yeah. All right. Sing, all right, all right, all right. It was a pleasure meeting you. I, I would shake your hand if I could move it. Let's try this again. Nice, right, nice, 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 great nice. eating you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Get sweaty in here, huh? Yes, exactly. That was another thing I was gonna say. Is huh, um, Chris? Yeah, you sweaty in me now. It's because it's just like pure latex. Yeah. In <laughs> so there's no cushion. It's just it's very wet in Dude. here now. What's the care like for the puppets? How much maintenance do you have to do? See, this guy, I feel like this guy is kind of like supposed to be dirty. So mm. I kind of just I don't really care with him. Yeah. Um. On other puppets that I use, I, I usually try to just keep them like uh, in like a bag or something. I can mm -hmm. put them away after I'm done using them. Um, and that's another thing is like some people just think I have like the puppets all out, just mm -hmm. like staring at me while I sleep. And I'm like, I don't, I don't even know if I could do that. Yeah. You know, just like have them in my room, like looking at me. I'm like, <laughs> you know, yeah. uh, and that kind of leads into the person I'm going to show you, whose name is Marv, mm -hmm. uh, Sugar Daddy Marv. Kind of the name is speaks he for the, Is he the classic? Yes, you, you, yes, you will see it's a little bit different. Uh, I, I would, I, yeah, I'm a little see. bit yeah. terrified. <laughs> what is a classic ventriloquist puppet cost? That guy would probably be like a, a hundred twenty to hundred fifty dollars. Okay. So that's like the average like pro puppet. Okay. This guy would probably be around two to three thousand wow. new. So yeah, it, it definitely varies for mm -hmm. sure. The dummies are more. The dummies yeah. are more. Hey. Hello! <laughs> the eyes, it's the eyes, it's the eyes, it's the eyes! I know, I got beautiful eyes! <laughs> oh, and the eyebrows! Wow, wait, so can you just quickly walk through, and I'm sorry if this is breaking character for you, but walk through sort of the features of the pup, because with this one it's basically just 
my hand. Yeah, so this this one definitely takes like a lot more practice to manipulate. Mm -hmm. You're controlling me. Yeah, but um, <laughs> he, he, everything he does is is very like it's all in a control stick, which I'll show you. It's it's uh, you know this is kind of the breaking the ventriloquist code, but you know that's the whole video is just kind of explaining ventriloquism. So he's got uh, moving eyes like this. Mm -hmm. He's got eyebrows that go up and down. Ah, you know for like things like that, <laughs> um, and he can actually individually blink. Oh. Yeah, each wow. one of his eyelids. That's like, like that. I do that all the time. Yeah. I just blink with one eye. You like a lizard. Like a lizard. Yeah. Exactly. And I'll, I'll show you, uh, this is this is kind of a scary part. He's gonna decapitate me. <laughs> so I'll show you this. Oh, whoa. So this is, this is kind of how I operate uh, him. I don't know if you can see that, but... That's um, great. Here, I'll get a, a closer up shot real quick. So this is him. This is Marv. That's super cool. I How... love a body. <laughs> <laughs> How old is Marv? When was Marv made? I don't know. I would say I'm 25. Don't I look it? No, but I'm I... 25. Oh, hey. Yeah. 96. He probably is like 20 years old. Mm -hmm. He was actually wood carved by a guy named Tim Selberg who makes like some of the best like puppets, like top of the line. You have to wait yeah. like a year for them to be produced just because they're so um, intricate. And uh, a buddy of mine actually gave this puppet to me um, kind of just out of niceness, you know? And, and It's crazy. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you, but it's crazy how you're having an actual conversation with me and you're still moving him and making him just like naturally have these this personality. Yeah. It's like a real human. <laughs> I'm a real boy. Ah. I assume it's just kind of like second nature now where you're, it's just kind of like muscle memory. Oh, yeah. In like the interim of you speaking versus him speaking, you're just like, okay, these are the things that my hands do and you don't even really think about it at this point. That was like the, the first thing that I was taught, I, I would say, at the ventriloquist convention was to always like keep the puppet alive because if, mm -hmm. if he's not looking alive and he's just, if I just kind of like, like let him go. Puppet. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Exactly, it's just gonna be like this, and I'm like, yeah, oh, he's dead. And then he comes to life, he's like, ah! <laughs> I'm alive! Oh, it's really nice to meet you. Oh, it's really nice to meet you. Are you a, a cockney bird? It's me, cockney bird. Where's your cock? Oh. <laughs> Oh, he has little feet! Yeah! But it's right here. Okay, yeah, exactly, you can like perch him up. Well, I don't have any, uh, Genitals, you have to pay. Yeah. Premium. I'm saying a lot oh. of P's and you can really see my lips move. Got that puppet premium, huh? Ah, uh, that's yeah. right. That's right. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Everyone go to my OnlyFans. Would Mark make an OnlyFans, do you think? Probably. I think uh, they would just be like very, like, uh, you wouldn't know really how to work a camera. They'd mm -hmm. be like just too close, like really like close up shots, you mm -hmm. know? Hey, you talking shit? No. <laughs> Right here. When you were making Marv, when you were bringing him to life, did you order him or did you see him and he was at some where so <laughs> i don't yeah, know how the process goes at all yeah it's it's one of those things where like finding a ventriloquist dummy is very hard especially like a good one because it's such a small community so usually you have to find somebody on like facebook or something like that facebook's a, a good way to you know get good ones just because there's so few you know and i would say with him he was a figure that I knew, and that's that's what a lot of ventriloquists call the more like professional ones. They call them figures, and mm -hmm. uh, some people take the term doll offensively. Mm -hmm. I, I personally don't care. I'm a doll! <laughs> I gotta scream everything. Sorry. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, it's one of those things they call figures, and I got him through a friend who I knew <laughs> I, 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 I got him through a friend who I knew had him and I was like really interested in using him in my act and he was actually used by this female ventriloquist named Nina Conti who's a, a big, I, I love, she's one of my favorite ventriloquists and she's based out of the UK and she has this little monkey puppet named Monk who is just hilarious and she used him in her uh, act I believe for a little bit and she used him in a documentary too so he's got a lot of history actually so it was really cool to be able to use him he's not very liked on TikTok because everybody just assumes like you know scary mm. like I'm gonna get you <laughs> you know that, that kind of thing um, 
And, uh, you know, you, people get scared because it's mostly, like, kids on TikTok. But yeah. I do mostly, like, live shows with Mar. Mm -hmm. And it's he's more of, like, an adult-friendly figure. Yeah. Even though a lot of adults probably are afraid of him, too. Yeah. yeah. Marv, can I ask you a question? Uh -huh. What happened to your hands, Marv? Uh, you know, just experience. Experience? Yeah. Those life. are hard-working hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got them Voldemort hands. Uh, them, he does yeah. have, like... In a Vada Kedavra kind of... <laughs> Why are you holding me? Oh, sorry. I like your tracksuit also. Yeah, it's really you, good. Thank you, thank you. I stole it off a kid. Ah, yeah, off of a child. It. Yeah. Nice. I said, give me! Scream. <laughs> <laughs> Marv, what's your favorite part of, uh... My body? Of your body? <laughs> <laughs> of, of being, a uh, a figure. Mm. Uh, man, I would say, <laughs> uh, man, I, uh, the favorite part about being a figure, you're learning all these terms, uh, huh? Uh, 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 learning all the terms. Learning all the terms, ah. right? All right. I got you. All right. Right. Yeah, but... <laughs> yeah, so I almost broke out of that. Oh, yeah, favorite part about being a ventriloquist dummy. Um, Is that offensive to say? Ventriloquist dummy? What do you think? I would say yes. I mean, you're talking to me like I'm real. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You're looking at me like, like I'm, I'm here. I mean, what is real? Yeah. You know? I mean, when you think about it. Imagine he I'm just perceiving you. Imagine he just he took his hand out of there and I just started talking. Mm -hmm. How would how would you react? I don't know if I would react the same as I'm reacting now. Yeah, it'd be kind of scary. Well, because if you have the same personality, I think it'd be fine. You know, realistically, uh, he doesn't even need to be here because it's just you and I talking now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'm just kind exactly. of in the background. Shut up. Yeah, you're just kind of in the background. Yeah. Just, he's just kind of a pawn uh, yeah. in your in your chess game. Exactly. He's just he's like a, a prop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's yeah. now the yeah. prop. Yeah, I, I'm the the real eye candy. Uh huh. Yeah. When when they put up posters to promote the yeah. shows. It's all you, baby. Yeah, it's all me. It's all you. It's all me. I can do a 360. Did, can you? Yeah, look at this. I feel like an owl, Marv. Yeah! <laughs> Marv, have you ever had different hair cuts or anything? Uh, it's funny. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Um, <laughs> haircuts. You know, I got a lot of hair. Mm hmm. Yeah, I got all this all hair. Brows. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Marv, do you ever change your clothes? And also, if you do change your clothes, how do you go about getting your clothes? Do you buy children's clothes? Oh. Also, uh, I love your socks, by uh, the way. Thank you. You know, it's funny. He actually has Tim's, but they're super heavy, and so he's very, like, fashionable. That's but really cool. It's, it's easier, it's lighter to, like, manipulate him just with the socks. Mm -hmm. What are you touching my feet, huh? <laughs> Go to my only thing instead of that. Okay. Oh yeah. So yeah. Do you do like shop or like how do you, how do you get your clothes? Do hey, I... do you shop? I don't need to, cause I'm a a bird. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. A little trick I did. Uh, kind of scary. Little bitch. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I... Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I would say uh, shopping. It goes like this. He takes his hand out of my uh, asshole and then leaves my body on the ground like this. And then I pretty much just uh, go, you know, to a, a kid's mm -hmm. store and then a I... A baby gown? Yes, maybe? exactly. Or, or like a Goodwill or something mm -hmm. like that. And I, you know, I put the clothes back on him and I, I put a new outfit on him and then mm -hmm. I put my hand back in and, you know, he goes back to... I got new clothes. Oh, look at that. Do you dress up for shows? Or do you still wear the tracksuit? Tracksuit every day, baby! Ah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey there, little guy. Hey. You want to taste my neat hand? Yeah, I'll tell you a little. Yeah, take a nibble. <laughs> what does it I, taste like? It's a lot softer than I thought it would be. <laughs> what does it remind you of? Oh, uh, those little, uh, what are they called? Vienna sausages? Yeah. Oh, Vienna sausages. Yeah, yeah, I knew I got a sausage somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke about his penis. Yeah. My, 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 my penis. <laughs> How do you do M's? Um, it's just kind of an... It's N, basically. N. Uh, mommy! I don't know. <laughs> 
Does Marv have a, a last name? <laughs> it's uh, no, nah, he's Marv Sugar Daddy Marv. Uh, like the Sugar Daddy. Yeah, I like to go to Costco. <laughs> yeah. Do you ever get the like the crazy like foot long hot dogs at Costco? <laughs> I mean, I got one in my pants. <laughs> ah, Marv. That was a little too much. This is uh, YouTube. Yeah, Marv, can I shake your hand? Yeah. Ooh! <laughs> yeah, Chris, you're right, that is way softer. It's, uh, let me give you the yeah. little secret, that's real human skin. Oh, yeah. real human skin! Yeah. Oh, this is great, Marv. Yeah, we can talk for an hour. Thank you so much for, for, for coming out and showing me the basics, Marv. Of course. I, I really appreciate it. Um, you just this answer. guy didn't really have any. No, I just, I just kind of just yeah. sat back and just kind of watched. Yeah. Just kind of... You know, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Marv. That's Bye. Marv. Bye, Marv. It was Bye. really nice to meet you. Uh, Chris, it was great to meet you, pal. <laughs> yeah, nice to meet you. It was, it was meet. great meeting you. Uh, that's the cue. Yeah, 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 that's it. That's it. That's, yeah. it. that's it. Marv turned it off. Well, Chris, great meeting you. Great bringing you to life. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate you right. coming out. Um, yeah. I'm sorry if your insides are now really wet. Yeah, really sweaty. <laughs> All right, Chris, I'm going to take you off Thank now. Thank you. Yeah, he's very, it's very <laughs> wet. I feel it, there. yeah. It's very, very wet. <laughs> wet sock. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess the light went out, so. Dude, this was really cool. Thank you yes, so much for teaching me the basics about ventriloquism. I have not only a new respect for ventriloquism, but I think it's less creepy seeing him in real life because I feel like seeing puppets and stuff on TV, specifically like the ventriloquism puppets, yeah. It's very Uncanny Valley, so it's like, ooh, it's a little <laughs> off-putting. But once you're in the vicinity, it's like, oh, not so bad. Yeah, you can, nice. I like, I like this guy. Yeah, no, I like it's him. all in the personality, yeah. probably. But yeah, dude, thank you so much for coming out. Is there anything you want to promote? Can people yes. see your shows? And Yes, my shows are all in L.A. Uh, might be doing a tour soon, who knows? But, ooh, uh, ooh, you know, ooh, ooh. you could follow me on... Uh, YouTube, TikTok's my main thing, Instagram, all puppet jack underscore. Cool. And that'll be in the description too. Well Sweet. thank you so much. Does does Foster wanna do an outro? I feel bad because he's just gonna Yes, I, 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 I You can do whatever whatever kind of outro you want, Foster. I just wanted to bring you back out one last time. I felt bad for you. Well, thanks for watching and enjoy our sweaty hands. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah, that's really good. Uh, subscribe! Ah. Like! Yep, yep. Uh, that, that's one? all the things, right? Yeah. Share! Ah. Yeah. There's comment too. You comment! Yeah. Comment. Yeah. Um. I don't have a brain, I just have a hand. Mm. Mm. Yeah.